Hey guys, Katrina here at Zephyr Wheeling. Welcome back to my channel. Well, a few weeks ago I ordered a t-shirt from a, a fellow disabled YouTuber uh, called Annie Eleni. Or Annie Cigara as her, her real name is, but she's called Annie Eleni on YouTube. Uh, she is trying to raise money to buy uh, an accessible wheelchair van. Now, Annie is from the United States, so she doesn't get help from the, the government or anything. She has the same condition as myself, and she now needs to use a power chair. And because of this, she now needs to buy a wheelchair accessible van, which she can't really afford. So I bought uh, one of her t-shirts uh, that she sells on her, through her YouTube channel. Uh, the other week and it arrived if you can see you probably can't see with the microphone but it says ambulatory wheelchair users exist and it has a, a picture of somebody getting out of a wheelchair now like me Annie can walk a little bit and she has to put up with um, quite a bit of abuse as I do uh, because of this. So if you would like to support her and help her to raise funds for her wheelchair van, please uh, follow the link below. And I will also put a link to her channel in the cards at the top of the screen now. The other day I was uh, on Reddit and I found this horrible little subreddit called r slash illness figures. And what I found there was quite shocking. Okay guys, so sorry I had to record this section again because the uh, software that I'm using decided it wouldn't like my uh, studio microphone so I had to use my uh, headphones. So sorry if the sound's a little off. But in this description of the this particular subreddit, uh, it reads a subreddit for discussion of people who are exaggerating or faking their illness online, often for fan financial gain. You're right. Now, in one of my older videos, I said that my channel was monetized. This is no longer the case because I started a new channel uh, for my vlogs ages ago, and just recently I had my my other channel hacked so I had to start over again uh, but even then I didn't make much money so I don't know where they're getting the idea of uh, people posting uh, about their chronic illnesses on Instagram and YouTube for making money because we don't this is the analytics from uh, my vlogs channel And as you can clearly see, it's still at a big fat zero. So somebody please tell YouTube to get their finger out. <laughs> but even still, I would continue to make this, these videos to highlight the difficulties that I face as a disabled person, even if almost paid or not. It actually cost me money to push to put this, these videos up. I mean, because I have to buy the equipment, like my microphone here, and my light, and my camera, and, and whatnot. And it is, yes, it is quite expensive. Uh, but I do find that most other people who have chronic illnesses and are disabilities uh, do find some solace in finding that there are other people like them. And that's why they tend to watch. Uh, other disabled people on YouTube and how they do stuff and, and how they live their lives. It's not to make money. This is not a hate site again. Yeah, right. As you'll see later, some of their comments are quite hateful. Uh, we do not condone the harassment 
of anyone posted on this subreddit. This subreddit is to discuss people who feign or exaggerate chronic, uh, chronic illnesses and medical crises for attention and for uh, financial profit. Please read the rules before posting. Disclaimer, this subreddit is not affiliated to with any other external site, Instagram account, etc. Uh, this person is making fun of somebody who posted on Instagram about getting uh, balloons for being in hospital for six days. Now, I don't know why this person was in hospital for six days. Uh, I know six days is definitely not long to be in hospital, even though it's boring. Uh, but for all she, this person knows, uh, this girl could have been in for something very life-threatening. And uh, they're taking the mick out of the girl for get her family bringing her balloons. Uh, and in the comments section, uh, they're just taking the mick out of her more, as you can see. And it says, gotta make sure that tube is out and on display for the photo, for goodness sake. And on the next subreddit, or the next post in this subreddit, uh, Somebody is getting a pair of AFOs. Uh, now, if you haven't followed my channel for very long, I posted a while back about why uh, I have leg braces, and part of my leg brace is an AFO, and I can tell you they are blooming hard to walk with. So, if I'm offered the option of choosing a design for them, then I will bloomin' well pick a design that I like, if I have to wear them, which I did. And I don't blame uh, this person on Instagram for asking uh, which uh, design to pick to go on her uh, AFOs. Let's see what the comments say about this one. Although, well, I agree with that, AFOs are awful. Uh, they're okay, so they're accusing this person is accusing the girl of fantasizing her condition. Uh, I have to get out of this subreddit before I, I start screaming. Uh, in the next post, there is this girl uh, on Instagram, she is out uh, shopping and she's bought herself a nice dress, good on her. Uh, and in the title of the post it says, was she not just in the emergency department super sick, now she's dancing and shopping? Well we don't know what she was in the, de the emergency department for, or some illnesses including my own. It can fluctuate, you can feel fine one, one minute and then really awful the next and even call in the ambulance next as did happen to me a few times. Uh, so why shouldn't this girl uh, p pick herself up if she's feeling okay? I mean I would do the same if I was feeling better. Next they're making fun of a person for needing a painkiller called Diane you did. I mean if she needs a painkiller she bloomin' well needs it. Uh, so I think this is the girl from uh, before who bought the dress. Hang on let me check. Yes it is. Uh, this must be what she was in the ER for. In her post on Instagram she said, Hello Belly Noodle, thanks for sending me to the ER. And it's a tube coming out of her stomach. Now I don't know what the tube is, it could either be a feeding, feeding tube or a, a super pubic catheter. But either way, if one of these comes out it is a medical emergency because it's attached to your internal organs. And she definitely 
needs to go to the ER to get this fixed. Uh, and then this person in, in this subreddit has a cheek to uh, take the mech out of her. She, they, they say, so she gets discharged and then ends up in the ER uh, right away. And in the comments, uh, they just take the further piss out of her. Claiming that, that she has an eating disorder. They sort of, don't know what disorder that she has. I mean, she could have gastroparesis. They, they don't know. Seriously, I have to get out of this subreddit or I will scream. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe by clicking below. And if you're new to this channel, please uh, remember to hit the notification bell as YouTube does not notify you when I upload a video unless you hit the notification bell. Bye bye.